Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make an RPG style loading screen UI inside of Roblox Studio. Check out our store, gfxcomment.com. Uh, we have a ton of free assets for you guys to use for your game. Uh, we have a lifetime access pack right here. So if you guys enjoy the content and you want to show some support, link is going to be down below. Thank you guys for all of your support and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. Um, now obviously there are there are many uh, styles you can make for a variety of different games. But uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make an RPG style. First things first, I'm going to make our background a dark gray color. So uh, if we select our color picker, we're going to go for like a dark gray, kind of like this right here. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go Alt and Backspace to fill our background with this color, as you can see. On Google, you want to look for a smoke overlay well that's what i searched and uh, here here you see i have this effect we're going to use this to make our background for like a dramatic effect now um i'm not sure what you guys want want to do uh you could animate this smoke by itself or you could you know use in-game particles but um this is a very basic background so for example, you know, screen mode, have like a nice uh, smoke thingy. I'm gonna copy it, move, or well, flip this uh, to the other side. And I'm, I'm just gonna erase out some parts. So it's not, so it's not obvious. Uh, now you can also look for a particles overlay for example, this thing right here, this can uh, also give us a cool effect. All right, now for the fun part of this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some decorative elements uh, that are kind of RPG style. So let's get straight into it. If we make a new layer, we're gonna take our pencil. Okay, we're, gonna, we're going to turn our fill off I'm gonna go stroke on uh, the radius or uh, size, I guess, it could be like five, for example. I'm going to use some guidelines right here. We can go straight across, for example. We can make a nice little shape, right? This is not that interesting, but we can make a new layer and we can add some more stuff. So for example, we can do some like, you know, curls, I guess, like this, uh, change the caps and corners, make sure these are sharp, aligned by the center should be fine. So we can have like this here. Um, we can also make some more shapes, right? Let's just uh, continue this thing. Go for like here, go up. For example, this can go down. We can go like right here and go back up like here, maybe. Lower the size, three. Now you can see we have like this kind of shape. Um, what else can we do here? We can add some more stuff right here. Maybe a little triangle, I think. Right. All right. This looks pretty cool. I'll say. I will say so. Um, going to lower the size of this one to maybe four, I think. Okay, this is cool. Now the fun part is in uh, stylizing these things. So go into your blending options right here. I'm gonna go for a gradient overlay. 
and I'm gonna go for like a nice gold color, I think. I'm gonna try this thing out. So I'm gonna go for like an orange, goldish, tan kind of color. Like this, right here, I'd say. Copy this color over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this color over. Uh, put some like white, maybe like here, also here. Mix these things up, you know, like that. We can uh do that. Um, let's go add bevel and emboss. Copy these settings. I'm going to try some effects. Go for like a chisel hard, I think. Change the angle here. No, I'm gonna go for like a smooth. I'm gonna give this a try. Soft light. You can see we have this kind of effect going on. Pretty cool. Just like that. All right. Copy layer so and we're gonna go paste layer style for all these. You can see we have some cool stuff right here. Uh, obviously, you're gonna want want to modify some of these. So this one, for example, change this thing up. Uh, let's keep trying. I kind of like this, personally. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep that. Um, let's change the angle though. That is actually better. <laughs> um, okay, so we're, gonna, we're going to take these effects. Group, Control J to copy, Control T, right click, flip horizontal to the other side. Like this. Um, it's pretty much up to you. This could work out fine as well. And now you could also add some text so we could go for like a loading. Or you could put like a tip here, for example. We can, you know, uh, hover over an item to see its stats. Go for like an RPG style font. Lower the size, change its color. This is a nice color right here. And I mean, lastly, you could also add like a loading bar. Or I mean, this can be your loading bar. We copy the silver, shrink the top, remove the effects on the bottom. We can actually make this a loading bar. By itself, uh, I'm gonna go for like a okay stroke color right here, dark. Boom. This can be your loading bar, actually. Right, like this. There we go. You also had a, a stroke here. Try this out. Gold color stroke. <laughs> and like maybe like. And like this kind of thing. Alright, now as you guys can see, we have a cool design for our RPG style loading screen. The stuff we have to export are gonna be the background for the. are going to be just these designs and the background. So I'm going to group the effects together. I'm going to flatten. And right click export now I'm gonna see you guys inside of Roblox studio okay so here are all my assets I'm just going to jump straight into this thing um, screen GUI I'm running for a frame uh, anchor fit background scale you go for image I suppose you can just make this the image um, it's just habit for me but but uh, set anchor. Um, okay, we're gonna go for the background. Obviously, we're gonna go paste the ID and uh, I mean scale. 
and uh, I'm too lazy to name my layers objects let's make a frame for the exp background I want to keep this thing a frame so exp now the size is gonna be 110202 by 5 and we're gonna go for like a black dark color such that we can see it um, over the background smoke we're gonna add a stroke two pixels um, the stroke color is gonna be d6ae6b we're gonna go okay and stroke color right here as you can see that does look pretty good um for the actual exp bar i'm not sure if we can remake this i guess we can let's uh try it out so Control c Control shift v okay um move the stroke we we'll call this bar background color white uh let's go for a gradient and here is our gradient effects um it's a couple color stops here so the front point and the end point are the uh, the same okay yeah I guess it's fine <laughs> change the angle like five no that's really bad uh, 45 nope 85 okay so size why I'm gonna go for like three pixels okay uh, no, go for like four. Because they want to make sure the stroke kind of shows through, kind of like that. I mean, I guess we can increase the size of the stroke itself. So, three pixels, that kind of works out. Uh, I'm going to change the color so it doesn't blend. Alright, I guess this should be fine. Let's take a look. Okay, looks pretty good. Now, uh, on top of this, we're going to add the decorative element. So I'm going to go anchor, decorative, copy ID, and also paste. The size is going to be, where is it, where is it, where is it? 1,001 1, by 65. Back run off scale and here it is uh this is the background lastly we just have our text let's go anchor text scale background off text color is going to be edc 998 we're going to go for the color right here and also change the font um, Highway Gothic. What else is there? It's kind of like weird font. I guess it's kind of worse. What's this? Acanthus ADF. I guess. Um, eh, I guess it works. Alright, here it is. Here is our beautiful loading screen. We have to scale this stuff. I always forget somehow. Alright. Still not scaled. <laughs> okay. It's cool. Scale. Alright. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. This is how it looks on uh, mobile. Yeah. I think it looks fine. Um. Uh, are there any issues with the responsiveness? I don't think so. Um, what if we locked the decorative stuff fast scale? How does this look? I think it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. Okay, that is how you can make an RPG style loading screen. Uh, if you guys got any more tutorial ideas, leave a comment down below. I am open to all kinds of ideas that you guys might have. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and um and check out our store. Yeah, I'm gonna see you guys 
next time.